We've produced a lot of content around the Dell PowerProtect Data Manager appliance lately, including a detailed article, a podcast with David Noy, and many short form videos on social media. For those that don't know, the PowerProtect Data Manager is an integrated appliance that combines Dell's hardware and software to deliver a simple, secure, modern solution for data protection and recovery. Today, we want to dive in more deeply about some of the key differentiators for the PowerProtect appliance highlighting the simplicity of deployment and overall flexibility of the system for a vast array of workloads and application environments. Setup of the system is a big deal for Dell. Configuring backup appliances and data protection applications for backup jobs can be time consuming and highly complicated. The new PowerProtect appliance can be configured in 15 minutes or faster if you show up well prepared for deployment. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's take a step back and break down what exactly the Data Manager appliance is and what problems Dell aims to solve. First off though, as you guys know, we're hardware nerds. So let's take a look at the appliance itself. The PowerProtect Data Manager appliance offers a grow in place capacity option ranging from 12 terabytes to 96 terabytes. This makes it a great fit for SMBs and mid-market customers. On our podcast, Dell discussed their plans to continue to scale the appliance, making it a good fit for larger environments as well. And this is me just speculating, but I think Dell sees this appliance model as the right fit for most organizations going forward. I don't think that means we're going to see a day anytime soon where the data domain targets and Avamar software goes away, but the bulk of Dell's backup business will probably be on these data manager appliances. Behind the PowerProtect Data Manager appliance's seamless experience lies the power of Dell PowerEdge servers. In this case, it's the XD2 variant. This highlights one of Dell's key benefits with solutions like PowerProtect, the ability to leverage their deep set of server hardware options with the accompanying software. The 2U appliance consists of two pods. The front unclips and extends to provide access to the second set of drives, each one holding a total of 12 drives. At full capacity, the appliance supports 20 12 terabyte hard drives today, but there's also some flash in the system too. The appliance features two SSDs for the operating system and boot files. Then there's also a mirrored set of 16 gig SD cards that provide a boot recovery options. In addition to the hard drives in the system, there's four bays available for SSDs. The SSDs serve as metadata cache and perform high performance activities that support things like instant restore functionality. On the back end, the appliance supports 10 and 25 gig E networking. With the hardware platform out of the way, let's take a look at the configuration and management of the system, which is the linchpin of Dell simplicity messaging when it comes to the data manager appliance. So we went on site with uh, the Dell team in Boston to get a feel for how the data manager appliance deployment works. Dell always says 15, 20 minutes to get this thing to work, and we wanted to see that happen. So I'm bringing in Kevin now, who helped with this deployment to kind of walk us through some of the key features. Yeah, so from the start, I mean, you're going to cover a lot of the initial basic points. You have to have management IP information. You have to have uh, your data network, your DNS information. So a lot of this would be the same type of thing you'd be deploying on other devices attached onto your network. Right, so for this appliance, Again, nothing special so far other than the nice little GUI to walk through, right? Yeah, and it's web interface. You don't have to install a separate app to uh, do it. Everything is HTML5 now. Um, but it works. It walks you through the process and keeps you in a captive environment so you, have to, you don't have to hunt for things. But this is the time where mistakes get made with the IP addresses. So getting those together will make sure that you have a, many fewer errors later on down the line, right? Yeah, it's always helpful to have that stuff checked out. <laughs> So you log, uh, you log back in after the initial configuration and then you hit your get started uh, menu. So license, support, asset security, a lot of the initial items that uh, needed to get taken care of. Now you might not have to configure all of them at the same time, but this gives you the area to uh, put this information in. Well, this is part of the simplicity message, right? Is bubbling up these tiles, the, the core steps to complete the process and then letting the customer walk through them. I, I don't think you have to walk through them in this sequence if you don't want to, but this is a, a logical way to approach it. Yeah, and as you uh, knock, each, uh, out, knock each of those areas out, you do see they turn from blue to green to kind of indicate you worked through that step. Now, uh, the support and telemetry services, you can, uh, you can enable those. Those obviously will probably be enabled for most customers, but it does give the option to enable that if you perhaps maybe need it or don't need it. So as you look into the asset sources, this one's kind of interesting to me. We're gonna do uh, a VMware environment and there's a great integration there uh, with PowerProtect appliance in, in this for VMware, but there's a ton of other stuff, containers, you know, direct applications, databases, NAS. So there's lots of flexibility in terms of what your uh, 
uh, protecting with this appliance. Yeah, and then on the uh, tail end, I mean, you can wrap up your security setup. And a lot of these areas are just kind of industry standard compliance type of items. Um, now, once, you, once those are configured, you can dive into the appliance itself. And here you get your nice dashboard. You can see your uh, jobs, the health, capacity, assets, compliance, and uh, space optimizations. So obviously, we are using a whopping 20.6 megabytes uh, at the current moment, but nothing's been backed up yeah, yet. Yeah, we haven't made much progress yet. And one thing that you might have seen when we popped in there was an alert about the new OS update. Uh, Dell's got a rolling thunder sort of approach to uh, updates for the software. So you'll see a lot of updates on a regular cadence uh, more often than, uh, than what is typical for backup appliances. You know, when you look at the, uh, this of appliance, you have your storage and this might be, well, this is storage on the device itself, not, in, not really covering the storage you're backing up, but the uh, storage built into this appliance. Uh, and it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, the hardware behind it, uh, Dell uses a lot of their um, uh, pretty cool power edge equipment. As we add asset sources, those show up in the tabs and then each one can be configured individually. Like I said before, for this demo, we're going to stay uh, within the uh, VMware hypervisor and, and go through that process. But pretty easy to see that as you add assets that they're easily administered from within the system. Yeah, and it is pretty nice to look at uh, your job reports. I mean, you get an idea of um, the status of jobs have failed, uh, the time that uh, certain activities uh, uh, get kicked off. So we're connected to a vCenter and we can see our VMs. Now a uh, protection policy hasn't been configured yet, but we're gonna go through that uh, process now. And uh, here you name your policy. Um, you can really use anything you want. It's pretty useful to have a uh, proper naming convention. There's different policy purpose options and we're going with the crash consistent option. Now here we uh, select our data center and the uh, cluster and you can just drill right into the VM you want to uh, back up, which uh, it's a pretty useful interface. You don't really, like none of this has left the um, uh, the main portal that uh, PowerProtect offers. Well, that is the value of the integrated appliance, right? Of having all of it in a single GUI in a single environment, so that you're not having to bounce between things. Yeah, and that the integration aspects are an area that uh, Dell's really advanced upon the uh, previous iterations. And it's the thing we like to see. Making things easier for the end user is always a, a huge win. Now it is pretty nice that uh, Dell gives you a view of unprotected and protected VMs because you might be adding new VMs in, you might have uh, VMs uh, that maybe don't really need a protection policy. And it's pretty useful to see that on the fly. Then here we can kick off uh, one of the protection policies uh, manually, or you can kick, uh, kick them off with an automated schedule. Uh, but we're able to walk through that uh, step, make sure that uh, no errors happen. Uh, you get to see the step logs and also the durations for each of those processes. So if, if something's hanging, uh, it's a useful way to uh, kind of sort out any little bugs. Yeah, we opted to kick off the process manually rather than waiting for the 8 p.m. scheduled start. <laughs> yes. One of the other really neat things about the data manager appliance is that it's deeply integrated with cloud service providers so that you can use those for things like disaster recovery or to keep an offsite backup. And because the data manager appliance does deduplication at pretty amazing rates actually, the amount of data that you've got to push over the wire to the cloud is minimized, making it a pretty effective solution for an offsite target. The PowerEdge server underneath gives the data manager appliance the power to be able to handle some of the heavy lifting like the deduplication and replication services and orchestrating recovery with the flash SSDs underneath. But there's so much more in the integration, including analytics, seamless VMware integration, and support for so many other workloads. As I said, this is more than just backup for hypervisors. The data manager appliance automates discovery and protection of databases, file systems, and emerging workloads like Kubernetes containers. It's abundantly clear that Dell is heavily invested in the PowerProtect Data Manager appliance. And from a software standpoint, Dell said they continue to release and update features on a regular basis. The cadence is much more agile than most other uh, products in this category. In our experience, setting up the appliance is a breeze. It's got an intuitive interface and a GUI that uses wizard-like tiles to walk administrators through uh, backing up applications or their hypervisor, really easy stuff. So whether you're a mid-market organization relying on VMware and databases or venturing into modern applications like Kubernetes, the PowerProtect Data Manager appliance has you covered. 
If you want to learn more about the solution, we've got a deep dive paper we wrote. I'll link to it in the description below. And if you prefer to listen to it, we've got a great conversation with David Noy on our podcast. You can find that at any of your favorite podcast players.